She was bossy, extremely opinionated, but very, very loving. She had it in her mind that we had to adopt half of her pre-kindergarten class because they would tell her that they got into a fight with their mom or something. Ella fit a very large personality into a very small body. Ella, she was a pistol. She came to stay with me one weekend, and I guess Charity talked at home about what she didn't like about me. So Ella comes out for breakfast, and she puts her hand on her hip, and she says, well, Mama, she said, I just want to tell you, she said, I love you. I don't care if my mama hates you. I love you. <laughs> and she always said what was ever on her mind. She just, she brought life into everybody. I'm horrified about what he did to Ella, but I never stopped loving Paris. And I'll never stop loving Charity. She's still my daughter, much to her chagrin. <laughs> I haven't talked to my mom in years. And contact before that was sketchy at best. My mom was extremely beautiful woman. She has been married seven times, eight times. I can't remember if she has Liz Taylor beat yet or not. Some of the things I did weren't probably very motherly. Um, you know, I, I started drinking some, did some drugs. I mean, I didn't do them in front of her. I mean, she had nannies, but um, you know, I probably wasn't there. I didn't give her all the attention that she wanted. She seemed to want quite a bit. Nothing was ever good enough for her. I often remember thinking that she just really didn't like me. It wasn't that I didn't approve of her. It's just that she does, she did things differently than I would have done them. You know, I chose to be a mother and to have a life and um, later on in life. She didn't seem to mind at the time, but as she got older, she seemed to resent the fact that I actually had a life too, besides just her. Today, we're going to talk about healthy boundaries. I want everybody to stand up. Crystal, tell me something that you're upset or feeling stressed over right now. CPS. CPS. Valerie, comfort Crystal. It'll be okay. Is that comforting? Yes. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the night that Ella died, I made her a promise about? that something meaningful would come out of her death. I tell myself that it's okay to enjoy life, but there's always that thought in the back of my mind, well, Ella's not here to enjoy it with me. So I set up the Ella Foundation to prevent violence by sharing our story. We are done. Next week, we go back to family systems. benefits of being single. After Paris killed his sister, I was not trying to get Paris off. I wanted to get Paris help and try to get my kid into a mental institution, especially as a minor. I felt like they needed to figure out what was wrong with them, not just lock them up and throw away the key. I offered the DA that I would pay the expense for a mental institution. If he needed to stay there for the rest of his life, then he'd stay there for the rest of his life. But I wanted him to have help. His defense attorney wanted not guilty. What good would that have done Paris? He wouldn't have been able to come to my home. 
I was scared to death of them. 